Good morning, guys. Good morning. A lot of good stuff is happening over here on the bus. And today we are going to Lowe's to buy a toilet seat. We found the pooper! <laughs> We're excited. Okay, good morning. Uh, we actually got rained out yesterday, so we wasn't able to uh, start on the toilet. Uh, but today, it shouldn't be raining, so we're gonna get a start on that. However, it's like 36 degrees today, and so it is super cold. We're gonna push through the cold and hopefully make a toilet things I thought I'd never say. Okay, so the toilet that I'm designing is gonna look something like this. Um, I got this from a Modern House Cabin. Um, if you don't know who those guys are, uh, go check them out. They have an amazing YouTube channel and they're also on Instagram. Uh, but they actually did this toilet and I saw it and I just fell in love with it. Um, and so this is what I'm gonna create. They actually uh, sell these eBooks, uh, Modern House Cabin do that. Uh, so I just purchased one of these and um, yeah, I'm gonna use this and hopefully be able to create something that looks like this. So let's do it. What I've done is I've cut out uh, this piece of wood and then basically what I've done is I've marked uh, segments that I'm really gonna cut uh, part way through the wood so pretty much all the way but probably leaving like two maybe sheets of wood uh, before it gets through so it won't cut all the way through all these lines will get scored and this will should uh, enable the wood to, to wrap so then we can have a smooth curve uh, on the toilet. So uh, that's what I've done here and so I'm gonna give it a shot and see what happens. Okay, so I made all the cuts. Uh, now to take it off and see if it works. I had to make 59 cuts, um, and so that was no joke. And they're all just straight lines, and so nervous about you know the saw uh, drop in and going through the wood. But um, everything seemed to go well so far, and so uh, yeah, let's take this off and have a look at it. So now it should wrap around. Look at that go. Oh, I'm so nervous. It's like, please don't snap, please don't snap. Okay. So now, oh, I can hear something. Oh, I'm so nervous. Okay, so now basically what I gotta do is, uh, clamp this in place and gonna glue all the way in here and uh, let that dry it'll stay in this formation so got a couple uh, bottom parts to do some back parts all that stuff so uh, that's what I'll do on now that's what I'll work on now and then yeah starting to get this all situated okay now what I did is I cut out this guy basically it's gonna be the template and so what I'm gonna do is glue all the lines that I just cut wrap the wood around this and then use these holes to clamp it to let it dry so then it should keep that shape um, also what i'm going to do is i'm going to spray the front of the wood uh, just to keep it a little wet and moist to give it some flexibility uh, as it bends and dries so that's what i'm going to do now <laughs> Okay, so this is glued and now it's clamped, but I'm just gonna let this dry. As this is drying, I'll start to build out the back pieces and all that stuff. So um, yeah, it's exciting. I'm super pumped how it's going so far. Um, and yeah, loving it. 
All right, so I have been inside working today and jumping out here every chance that I get to check on the status updates of the toilet and it looks killer. It looks so good. I've never been so excited about a toilet in all my life. Scott's killing it. I'm so sad that like I'm not able to be out here and work on this project as much as I'd like to. But now I have a doctor's appointment, so I gotta go. So by the time I come back, he'll be done. <laughs> His face. <laughs> Okay, good morning. Uh, we left the toilet uh, drying yesterday, and so today is the day where we take off the clamps and hopefully it has kept its shape with the glue, and then we'll attach the, uh, the bottom and the top and uh, take it from there. Okay, how exciting! It's like I know this was supposed to happen, um, but it's also just crazy that it did, you know? Okay, so the lid is cut out. However, there is like a slight lip just where I cut it. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use the router um, and it's kind of like a trim bit. It has like a little, uh, uh, almost like roller on it that will lean against the, the toilet and then cut the lid, uh, trim it uh, to fit the shape. So um, this is my first time ever using a router. So this may go terribly wrong, but wish me luck. Okay, I finally figured out the router. Uh, the biggest thing, uh, learning curve for me was uh, figuring out the depth of how far to have the bit down uh, to kind of get this uh, smooth shape to, to mimic the, the seat. Um, and so, yeah, overall, it went well. And now it's got a nice finished edge all the way around the toilet. Um, so yeah, it's good. Okay, it is looking good. Uh, I just installed two hinges on the back. So now, woo, it opens up. And yeah, it's going good. So this is kind of, this is kind of what it's going to look like. What you guys think? And now comes the fun part, measuring out where the toilet seat's going to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out a hole in this and uh, have the Johnny composting system underneath. Um, that's what we're using to kind of dive our uh, solids and liquids. Um, and so I'll show you that after I figure this out. Okay, so everything's working great. Uh, I got the seat on now. This will lift up. Um, then you can also lift up this seat. Obviously, you don't ever really do that because um, you probably need to sit down. Um, and then this will lift up here. And then this is where our Johnny compost uh, system will go. The way that this works is uh, we'll have a bucket like this and the system comes with this diverter. So this just kind of sits on the front of a bucket, uh, just kind of like a Lowe's bucket. Uh, that's all I got here, just kind of sprayed it black. Um, and then this will sit on here and then your uh, liquids will come out here. Uh, so temporarily for us right now, uh, we're just going to kind of take a, a jug, something like this, and then this will just fit in there like that. Uh, what we're going to do long term is uh, we will run this into our gray tank. And so this will go through here, through the floor, straight into our gray tank. And then what else this comes with is this whole system right here. So this pipe will fit into here. It'll run to a little, um, a little fan, 12 volt fan, 
and then that fan will then go outside of the bus and that's just to help uh, circulate air uh, making sure that it doesn't dry out and kind of keeps that composting um, environment um, within the toilet so that it'll decompose all the solids um, and then we'll line this with a decomposable bag uh, so then when time comes to empty that we'll just tie it up and we can um, bury it oh, if we're out in the middle of nowhere or we can just throw it into a trash can uh, because it's essentially become soil at that point um, so yeah that's the setup um, pretty much done with the build right now so uh, I'm gonna kind of just finish on uh, maybe painting this up and getting it all um, looking good okay welcome to our bus construction zone uh, today's actually a little bit warmer day today and so what I'm actually gonna finish today is I'm painting this up. We kind of primed it yesterday and uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and start to uh, finish it um, with the finishing coats of paint. Okay, so the toilet is painted. Um, I put one coat on it, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go over it with some finishing sandpaper, uh, 400 grit, um, and then I will repaint it again uh, with another coat, and then I'll put a final coat of uh, kind of like a water-based polyurethane uh, just to seal it and protect it. And um, yeah, well, then we should be good to, to go. Okay, so that wraps up the toilet build. Um, I'm actually super happy how it all came out. Uh, it honestly came out better than I was anticipating. And uh, yeah, just really love uh, the design to the toilet. Uh, we've actually been using it um, off and on for a couple days just to kind of test it out uh, with the Johnny compost system. Uh, we had it just going into really like a disposable jug and just kind of getting used to uh, what it's going to look like. And honestly, it just feels like a regular toilet right now. So that's great. Obviously, the composting, changing it out, we'll have the compostable bags and everything in there. Uh, but yeah, everything's going great. But right now, what I have actually just done is I actually just cut a hole uh, to kind of start putting the vent through. And then I will eventually cut a hole to drain it into our gray water tank. And so, uh, but that's that's pretty much down the road once we get all that with drainage and stuff, um, we'll, we'll go from there. But yeah, super happy how it came out and it's been working great. So if you are interested in building a composting toilet, I hope this helps. Um, again, one of the main reasons why we did this is because the nature heads and, and comparable brands to that, you're talking um, hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Um, I mean, nature's heads, you're talking up to thousands of dollars, which they're great products. We have friends that use them and love them. However, this probably in all saved us about $750. And so that's money that we can put somewhere else into the build. And again, just really love this design and how it looks, uh, kind of like a regular toilet. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and we'll be back next week.